hello hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel my name is zakaria the ghost guys i've seen you know some of the comments after i uploaded a video you know talking about you know ztc in zim versus ztc in south africa and i'm very grateful guys and i'm humbled because that's exactly what was expected these are the kind of you know content that we should upload out there we should talk about these things because of if we don't talk about these things you know people will come and talk about the things which are happening every day in our country and tomorrow we will be very angry saying people come from different places and they come here and they steal the content they do this and do, they do that simply because of we are not you know talking we will be like that guy who stay with somebody every day and say nothing about the person next to them but when people are talking about those people they are the ones who are going to fight you know on the behalf of that person and we'll be like but you were there why were you not talking about that person you were waiting for people to come and talk about that person you know and today i just sat down and i realized that you know zcc in zim they are already streaming their service life they are already going digital they are talking to their members online and i asked myself a question if south african zcc will start going digital and i think they will go digital although we know that the church in south africa has been private for a very long time smartphones were not allowed in moria people were not allowed to take even pictures in moria but now recently you know things are changing you know we see like the president going there and taking pictures there we see the president going with the media and this time for the first time i saw a video in moria because of now the president was like addressing people it's like 11 months ago he was addressing people that he's in moria to speak with both church leaders and he is also there to you know seek for advice and for the first time i just saw some of the buildings that i know in moria they are there i saw them on video and i was shocked because that was like public whereby everybody can see it around the world but you know i started to realize that you know the church it was not that private you know the church was private maybe to the members but it was public to you know big businesses that are willing to come and take advantage of you know the number of you know the the members in the church because of it has been a numbers game for a very long time you know vodacom is the first you know company that realized that is the first company that saw it you know that numbers don't lie if you want to make business go with people who have you know a huge following then you will make a lot of money because i remember back in the days vodacom you know uh launched this sim card it was called zok you know z o k and they decided to go and partner with ztc and they also partnered with orlando pirates and kaiser chiefs and they did this sim card and they were giving people sim card for free i remember we were getting the sim card for free in moria i also had it but the thing about the sim card is that it, it just died out you know I, I don't remember you know people using that sim card a lot because they they thought maybe the more they give people those sim cards people will go and buy airtime and the more they buy airtime is the more they will make a lot of money you know it was a great strategy now that i think about it and they understood exactly that Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates are the biggest teams in South Africa and they have, you know, huge supporters. And if they get that and they combine that with ZCC members, that will be big, you know, that will be big and Vodacom can make a lot of money. But somehow, somehow, Vodacom lost money. And Vodacom, we remember the story when they were rescued by CLC, you know, things were very bad, you know, and right there, we saw that Celsius had a little bit of power and we saw that now Telecom decided to go mobile because Telecom was well known for, you know, a company which has the landline. It was big with landline and they decided to go mobile because the three companies, they were very expensive when it comes to data. Because I remember MTN was charging 149 rent for one gig of data and it was too much. And now when Telecom showed up, they decided to give us two gig of data with 22 rent. They introduced this thing called More Nice, this package called More Nice. And every Black Friday, I remember they used to sell 100 gig of data with 100 bucks, 100 rent. So it was easy because now we were buying a data with one rent compared to what we used to buy because we used to buy one gig, you know, with 149 rent. 
and I remember one network it was selling it with 169 and now these guys they're giving us 100 with 100 it was a great deal so we decided to go with with telecom but now the problem with telecom it was that you might have data but there was times whereby you will have data but you cannot access the internet it was very frustrating like guys like us I like to research a lot I like to download TV shows. I like to download movies, sit down and watch them so that later I can come and review them. So it was very frustrating. Then, you know, the new kid on the block, you know, showed up Rain. Now Rain came and he said, no, with us, it's easy. You only pay 250 rent. Then you have, you know, unkept data. You can do whatever you like. You can stream, you can download movies. And I jumped straight to rain like other South Africans simply because of now with the router, we find out that we can use 10 device, you know, under one roof and we can all use Internet. All we have to do is to pay 250. And now with the routers now you can, you know, use up to 32 devices, you know, in one roof. You can just have 32 people using the same rain sim card in the house so which was great and also now we have the new kit on the block uh the vomatel is the cable now if you are around rosebank santon melrose you know uh ilovo when you are around you know parkest you're around you know morningside you will know what i'm talking about but going back to you know the cc I remember they also made, you know, a partnership with Holat back in the days whereby now when we look at Hanya, there is a federal cover there. It was a partnership with Holat. I stand to be corrected, but that was the last time, you know, I, I had or I got that information. And, and, and you can tell that these big companies, they understood the numbers. They understood that the more numbers you have and the more they bring business to you, they are going to make money. You know, despite maybe they will give you a big cut, but they are still going to make money because they knew that once they know that about eight into 10 people who are ZTC members, they have that funeral cover. That means automatically they will make money. You know, it, 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 it's been there. You know, now that I sit down and look at that, I'm like, the church was not really that private. You know, they were still doing business with people who are not even church members. You know, it's that thing that you start asking yourself a question if really the smartphones and things like cameras were not allowed in moria because of the bishop said so or it was not allowed because of people didn't want us to have you know the camera phones in there because it's something that we grow up being told that you know what the smartphones are not allowed there even if when you take a trip that's the first thing you will find the security there they're going to search the bus they search the cars they want to make sure that the smartphone it is not going there but now when we see you know the cameras being there it shows that things are changing this is the new normal you know although it's the media of course it will start with the president then later it will start with the promotion and whatever then you know by the time we just open our eyes, it is just there digital. You will see somebody holding the camera when Gary is busy dancing. And it, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's, it's getting there. Because recently we saw that now they just partnered with, you know, Time Bank. I just read the article on, on Soweten where they were saying, you know, Patrick Motsepe, you know, and ZTC, they just launched, you know, Time Bank. And I was just a bit shocked because they didn't say, you know, Motsepe and Bishop Barnabas Lekhanyane, they didn't say that. They said ZCC, you know, that means they are doing business with ZCC, which is the church, you know. They are not doing business with the leader, you know, individually. They are doing that. That's the reason why I am saying they are targeting the numbers. They are there to target the numbers. Even if when they bring business, they want business to associate with the church. Because they know that once you know that your church is, you know, signing deals or is signing a partnership with a certain company, you will support that. And guess what? They managed to make, you know, one million. Jesus Christ. I read an article that they had about one million members before they can even have branches. The Time Bank. And I had the spokesperson of Time Bank when he said... You know, Capitec must be very careful because now it's, it's that thing of people will, may they just leave the Capitec Bank and go with Time Bank 
because of time bank is like the majority of those owners are black or are they going to stick why are they picking capitec specifically it's because of they know that black people are you know what are supporting capitec bank a lot now it become that thing of saying we are black and now are you not supporting a black bank are you not supporting a black business it is getting there but it is the numbers game these people go there knowing that the numbers are there and once they make you know a good relationship with the church leader it's easy for them to make money but guys i appreciate you guys showing love, me love and support but i think you know south african you know ztc it will go digital it's just a matter of time it will go there trust me i believe so